Welcome to Owl the Storyteller. Why are there not more people talking about the vibrant colours of Georgian fashion? The Georgian era, spanning from 1714 to 1830, was a time of dramatic change and evolution in England. This period was marked by significant shifts in culture, society, and of course, fashion. This period, encompassing the reigns of four King George, witnessed a flourishing of art, architecture, and of course, fashion. The influence of these monarchs can be seen in the opulence and grandeur of the clothing styles that emerged. Forget any notions of a drab and colorless past. The Georgian era was anything but dull. Georgian fashion was a vibrant tapestry of color, each hue carefully chosen and imbued with meaning. The fabrics were rich and luxurious, often imported from distant lands. The beginning of the 18th century saw a continuation of the rich tones popular in the late Stuart period. These early fashions were characterized by their elaborate designs and sumptuous materials. Men and women alike adorned themselves in jewel-toned silks, brocades, and velvets. These materials were not only beautiful, but also a display of wealth and status. Trade with the East brought an influx of exotic fabrics and dyes, introducing new colors and textures to Georgian wardrobes. Dyes such as indigo, derived from the indigo plant, produced deep blues. Cochineal insects were used to create vibrant reds, while madder roots provided a range of red hues. Meanwhile, scientific advancements led to the discovery of new pigments and techniques, further expanding the palette of available colors. These changes were not merely superficial. The choices in clothing were deeply significant. The colors worn by Georgians were deeply symbolic, reflecting their social standing, occupation, and even their political allegiances. Fashion was a language of its own, conveying messages without words. Through their clothing, they communicated messages of wealth, power and taste to the world around them. The elaborate attire of the wealthy was a clear indicator of their status and influence. Royal purple, a color historically associated with nobility and power, was a favorite among the elite. This rich hue was derived from the Murex snail and was a symbol of prestige. Green, another popular color, was often achieved using verdigris or plant-based dyes. It symbolized growth, fertility, and nature, adding a fresh vibrancy to Georgian attire. So, let us delve into the fascinating world of Georgian fashion and uncover the secrets hidden within its colorful folds. Each garment tells a story, revealing the intricate social fabric of the time. The language of color colors and dyes of the Georgian era. The early Georgian period was a time of opulence and grandeur, and this was reflected in the fashion of the day. Bold, saturated colors were highly prized making a clear statement of wealth and status. These colors were not easily accessible to everyone, which made them even more desirable. Deep reds, rich blues, vibrant yellows, and opulent golds were favored by both men and women of means. Each color had its own unique significance and was chosen carefully to convey specific messages. Red, in particular, held a special significance. It was a color that could not be ignored, a color that demanded attention. Derived from expensive cochineal insects imported from South America, a brilliant red dye was a luxury few could afford. The process of creating this dye was labor intensive and costly, adding to its exclusivity Thus, a scarlet coat or a crimson gown became instantly recognizable as a marker of high rank and affluence. Wearing red was a way to showcase one's wealth and social standing. Similarly, blue 
achieved through the costly process of extracting indigo from plants, was reserved for the elite. The deep, rich hue of blue was a sign of sophistication and elegance. These vibrant colours were not merely decorative, they were imbued with symbolic meaning. Each colour told a story, conveyed a message, and added to the overall narrative of the wearer's identity. Red, associated with power and passion, was a popular choice for military uniforms and courtly attire. It was a colour that symbolised strength and authority. Blue, on the other hand, represented loyalty, intelligence and trustworthiness, making it a fitting choice for those in positions of authority. It was a colour that inspired confidence and respect. Yellow, although initially associated with deceit, gained favour as a symbol of happiness and prosperity. Over time, it became a colour that was celebrated for its brightness and cheerfulness. The early Georgians were not afraid to embrace a kaleidoscope of colour, and their clothing reflected this confidence. They used colour boldly and creatively, making their fashion a vibrant display of their personalities and social status. They understood the power of visual communication and used colour to project an image of wealth, status and sophistication to the world. Their fashion choices were deliberate and strategic, ensuring that they made a lasting impression on everyone they encountered. During this period, the dyeing process itself saw notable advancements. Artisans experimented with new techniques and materials, leading to more vibrant and lasting colours. Trends in colour usage also evolved. While reds and blues remained popular, there was a growing interest in softer pastels and muted tones as the century progressed. These shifts in colour preferences reflected broader changes in societal tastes and the influence of foreign cultures, particularly from France and Italy. Fashion plates and colour swatches from the era reveal a rich tapestry of hues, each carefully selected to make a bold statement or convey a subtle message. The early 1700s were a time of bold experimentation and expression through colour, setting the stage for the dynamic and ever-changing world of fashion that followed. Absolutely don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Al the Storyteller. Your support keeps us going.